Once we open AMP in our web browser, we'll head over to the AMP Blueprint Composer to set up a category entry for the Mesos cluster so we can then access it when we're deploying our application. Make a copy of the sample bluebox.bom found in the AMP Daytrader Mesos Get repository. Update the file, changing the replace this tokens with appropriate values from your Bluebox OpenStack environment. Once you're finished, select Add to Catalog and now we can access it for our application. From the AMP Pro Web Console Home tag, we'll next hit Add Application and then select the Apache Mesos button and hit Next. Supply values for the following fields, leaving the rest as default. Set the locations to your added location, for example, IBM Blue Box, San Jose, Clocker, Mesos. Give the Apache Mesos cluster a name, we chose Blue Box Apache Mesos Cluster San Jose, and point your Mesos slave private key at the location of your location's private key. Then simply click Deploy, and when we move to our Applications tab, you can actually see AMP provisioning the nodes and deploying the cluster, and it'll be ready in a few short minutes. Expanding the tree view allows you to find the Mesos URL on the Apache Mesos Cluster Summary page, also the Marathon URL under the Marathon Framework Summary page, and we can also move over to the OpenStack dashboard and refresh and see that all of our nodes are now present. You now have a fully functional Apache Mesos cluster deployed and managed by CloudSoft AMP. As an example of using AMP to deploy an application into Mesos, we're going to be deploying Apache DayTrader. From the AMP Pro Web Console Home tab, we're going to click Add Application and select the DayTrader app cluster, WebSphere, Liberty, MariaDB, and then hit Next. Supply values for the following fields and leave the rest with defaults. Set the location to My Mesos cluster. Give the DayTrader cluster a name, for example, DayTrader WSL MariaDB. And provide a WebSphere Liberty Archive URL for the Web Profile 7. You can find a link to that URL inside the text. Simply hit deploy and your DayTrader cluster will start provis provisioning and be ready in a few minutes. When the DayTrader cluster finishes deploying, the green icon will stop flashing. You can then connect to DayTrader via the mapped load balancer URI found on the application summary page. We're first going to repopulate the database by clicking the Configuration tab and then clicking on the link named Repopulate the DayTrader Database. This will open a new, initially blank page, which will periodically update as sample stock and user data is loaded. You'll know it's complete when it looks like a normal configuration page. Heading back over to AMP, we'll take a look at policies, which are some of AMP's most powerful tools. By looking at the policies of the dynamic cluster, we can see that the auto-scaling policy is applied. In its configuration, there are upper and lower bound metrics that you can edit, as well as stabilization periods. When the load is applied, the decision to scale up and down is based on the value in the sensors tab for the sensors per value per node metric. We want to copy the URL of the DayTrader application so we can map the ports for our JMeter implementation. In a new terminal window, we will run a DayTrader JMeter test script that you can copy from the text. Then, starting the JMeter GUI, supplying the host import values that we already copied from the DayTrader deployed cluster. Once that's started, we'll switch back to the dynamic cluster screen and pull the JMeter screen into view. 
We will right click the enable aggregate report in the left hand tree and when you're ready to start traffic, hit the green play button. Next you can see the requests per second per node metric begin to rise and as we reach about 50 requests per second per node, we will see an auto upscaling event occur that will make an extra WebSphere Liberty node appear. the request per second per node a big begin to drop off as the balancer will start to balance the traffic between the two nodes. To display a downscale event, we'll go ahead and kill the traffic from JMeter and you can see the request per node per second drop to zero and the second node will be dropped and it'll also disappear from Marathon. You've now seen CloudSoft AMP Pro Deploy a fully functional Apache Mesos environment into IBM Bluebox. Deploy a DayTrader application and use JMeter to show how AMP automatically scaled our environment in response to load. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us with the information that's included in the text.